Here we are with mega producer Janet Yang. Thank you so much for coming out, Janet. You're very welcome. It's really wonderful to be here. And you are on the board of advisors of CAPE. What is it about CAPE that touches your heart? Why do you think it's so important in the community? Well, I watched CAPE grow up. Uh, I was there early on when there were just a handful of Asian Americans in the business. And it is amazing to see how each year it's just richer, more glorious, more fun, more everything. It's, it's, there's real, you know, I think it's a wonderful time to be Asian American right now for, for a number of reasons, not the least of which is that there's a lot of interest in Asia, and I've always felt that it was important to try to make the connections. I spend a lot of time myself in China, so to me, the fact that Asia and Asia America are coming together is a wonderful thing. And Janet, do you think that uh, there's a trend toward APIs again? Or do you think that there's we're going to go to a place that we've never been before? There is a trend... As far as APIs in entertainment? Um, I, think the, I think yes, of course, uh, but not just because it's APIs in, in entertainment. I think that generally the whole space is expanding by leaps and bounds. And the world is is much smaller in a way. It's more global, and again, there's a lot of emphasis on Asia, and there's a lot more attention and interest from all sides. So it's a little bit more. It used to be Hollywood was kind of up here, and the rest of the world was somewhere down here, and now it's it's all mixed up, and it's much more even uh, playing field, I think. You always have this presence about you. It's just so warm and so beautiful. What what brings that out in Janet Yang? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I think I, I'm generally kind of a Pollyanna and optimist. I generally look at the positive things in life, and I just don't like being unhappy, maybe. And uh, so <clears throat> I get over my my uh, aggravations pretty quickly, <laughs> where possible, and and I, I find things almost every day that touch me, you know? And um, so I just d dwell on those things more. Well, whatever you're doing, it certainly works. You're always so beautiful. Thank you so much, Janet. You're very welcome. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here we are with Aaron Takahashi, funny man, yes man, and mega commercial ad man. Uh, thank you, Ken. <laughs> what is it about you that's so funny? I mean, what, do you, what is it about Aaron Takahashi that makes you so funny? I, I think it's my ability to... Your unique sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Your words, not mine. <laughs> but how do you come about it? Do you think I want to be funny? Uh, I don't. I don't think it. I just be it. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you are trend tremendously funny. Yeah. I do know that. I. <laughs> I stepped right into. I know that. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just. Uh, I don't know. Comedy comes easy for me. So. And what do you think is important for APIs to uh, get ahead in the entertainment industry? What do they need to do? Uh, persist. Just keep working hard and don't give up. I mean, it took me. You know, I've been I've been acting for like 15, 16 years. And so you were already getting fan letters just from your commercials. How is that? Getting fan letters? Uh, it it trips me out. It because I like I have no idea that you know whatever I do, working eight hours on a commercial, and then I don't think about it, and then you know whatever months later someone says I loved your commercial, whatever. Can I get an autograph? It blows my mind. I it's amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming out, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ken. All right. Here we are with Uber producer uh, Sherry Bryant. Thank you so much for coming. Always so present in the API community. Thank you. <laughs> what you and you are engaged? I actually just got married. Yeah. <gasps> you did. Oh yes, yes. Well, congratulations. Thank How you was so that? Much. It was beautiful. We're in San Francisco and. Had a nice time. You've been on the board for over 10 years. Why? What is it about Cape that touches your heart? Well, so many things. I think I personally like to give back to the community and um, feel very passionate about um, helping writers and directors um, get their their thoughts out there. Um, and I think as an organization, um, I've seen us grow a lot. Um, 10 years ago, we were a little more of a networking group. Um, we had less events. Now we have speakers, panels, you know, everything. And we're really trying to bring people up from the bottom as well as stay connected to the executives and the decision makers. But we're now sort of combining everyone together and it feels really nice. Well, the community is more better for your presence. Thank you so Thank much, you Sherry Bryant.